today is a big day so stay tuned it's gonna be a fun vlog كثير عندنا اشياء راح نعملها وكثير عندنا updates راح نخبركم فيها so enjoy the vlog and we'll see you throughout the day we came to get a haircut لانه we're filming educational content for the gym we're vlogging a workout and we're doing our first ever podcast so that's gonna be fun and we're gonna see you inside صرت احكي لنا ايش اللي عم بيصير بالمحل؟ يعني الديكوريشن وشيء للاحسن للاحسن. What are those? Today's guest for the workout. كيفك؟ مرحبا انا اسمي محمد. اليوم حنلعب بول باك بايسبس ورير دلس. I'm gonna lead safe into the workout because I'm prepping now and I want to try my full workout. So we'll see how it goes. خلصنا our workout. راح نعمل شوية abs and then we'll we're gonna jump into the podcast. لا لا لا. بطلت عارف أحكي من التعب. So abs podcast. See you bye. خلصنا our workout. وهلا we're gonna do posing practice. راح نتعلم from the beast himself how to pose. I just started my cut, so I'm kind of fat. Well, بالنسبة لكم not fat, بس بالنسبة لي وإلو. In the fitness industry, Pat, uh, we're gonna learn how to pose from the best to. But can we compete in one day? We don't know. Never know. He's 19, by the way. Mashallah. This guy is literally gonna be the future of bodybuilding. I'm gonna be a superstar in the Middle East. He's gonna go global. Mark my words. How about she? Rest? Yeah. Rested front spread, front side spread. Lift up your legs a little. Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing? Round right. Now to the side. Back. I'm posing now, and now we're gonna get into the podcast. So, Raham Farjikum Shwayat clips from the podcast. We're gonna insert them here. The main po the podcast is gonna be posted on a separate channel. Before we get into the podcast, so I'm gonna have me a quick protein bar, and we're gonna get started. We're live. Okay. Oh, well, we decided to have him today because we kind of share the same ideology when it comes to same fitness. Same interests and a lot of things, yeah. Same interest. Uh, I wanted to ask you on uh, the way you like to train. Because your yeah. training is a bit different than mine. Yeah. And I usually do more exercises. Yeah. Or like more volume, less intensity. You have a yeah. higher intensity, less volume approach. Yeah. So take me a little bit through why you want to do that. Why does it work better for you? Or is it better for everyone? Yeah. Um, أول شيء كل واحد uh, he will have his own training style that will suit him the most. Mm -hmm. That's first. Uh, second, أنا I've, I've tried a lot of training programs, uh, a lot of different value, uh, volumes and uh, many stuff like that. Um, I like to train to failure. Okay. Okay. So I like to train heavy. Uh, it depends. Like each week I have low rep day and low rep uh, high rep day. Mm -hmm. So high rep day, uh, weights are lower. Mm -hmm. high, low rep day, weights are higher. Yeah. When you say light days, like most yeah. people think in light days they come to the gym, and it's like Just light like, weight, no. light reps. So no, it's no, like no. when you say light light weights, yeah. do you mean light weights, but it's still like heavy enough where you reach failure, so? Yes, exactly. High rep day, light weight. It means, uh, um, for example, if I have, let's say bench press. High, high rep day, I have ten reps. Low rep day, I have. 
Five reps. Five reps until failure. If I can do more, I'll go up the weight. Mm -hmm. ten, uh, 10 reps, I'll go down the weight, and I'll reach 10 reps. If I can do more, I'll go, I'll go up the weight. Okay, yeah, You yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah. So I need to reach 10 reps. If I can do mm -hmm. more, I'll go up the weight. That's, that's the rule. You can't go over 10. You can't go over 10. I like that. And uh, yeah. I see a lot of people that do, the man yamalu set, they do like first set 12 reps, second set 10 yeah. reps, yeah. last set 8 reps. And I'm like, yeah, look, I, I, like used, I used to do that. I used to believe in it. But uh, after I tried uh, training until failure, mm -hmm. I think this work, works. But that's where I say what yeah. where I saw most of my progress ever. Progress. Ever. So it's like best to train in a rep range where it's yes. like, okay, choose a weight. To, to keep a rep target. So it's like exactly. 8 to 10. Yeah. Minimum eight, maximum ten. Exactly. That way you guarantee that you're at least like two reps in reserve, exactly. very close to failure. It's, it's actually more enjoyable. Like you can push yourself to the like to mm -hmm. the most, you know. Yes. It's, it's way more enjoyable. بينما إذا بتقيد حالك ب 12 reps, yeah. you have the set of 12, but maybe you have 13 or 14. But my yeah. program says 12, so you're yeah. like, ah, oh, okay, I'll stop there. Yeah. Two wasted reps that exactly. can go away. Exactly. So what is the difference between new school bodybuilding and old school bodybuilding and what do you think is better for gains? Okay, I tried both. Okay. Okay, I tried old school and I tried new school. So let's just elaborate. The viewers that don't know, old school is more like bro split where yeah. it's like كل عضلة مرة بالأسبوع back two, and two by. Two muscles a day, one muscle a day. Yeah, yeah, back and by, chest and thigh, legs, shoulders and then yeah. you rest. Exactly. Um, when I talk about old school, what I mainly mean about it is that uh, some people can't do two muscles a day don't okay. get me wrong especially the people who are advanced why because mm -hmm. they, they might have some uh, unsymmetrical body parts okay. which they need to work more on mm -hmm. so uh, it, I, I think it would work yes personally other than that when I when I when I talk about old school I'm talking about the diet mainly okay diet okay Diet for me is very important yeah of course if you if you if you don't join your diet you won't be able to continue so so uh, old school diet is very strict diet, which is chicken, rice, broccoli, and that's it. That's it. Eggs in the morning. Eggs in the morning. Eggs oatmeal. The, eggs it. and oatmeal. Eggs and oatmeal. Nazim. Yeah. Exactly. So it, especially if you are a beginner, it will be very hard for you to Taban. continue with it. Yes. Very, very hard. So you need to be a bit more flexible. This is, this mm -hmm. is the new school. New school diet. Which, uh, like, studies show that you can actually reach the same level. Of body fat and conditioning. With everything. Mm -hmm. with this, you can reach the same point, but in a different way. Different way. Easier way. Yes. Which is what I preach somewhat. Calories in, calories out. Yes. Is that in a 500 calorie deficit, yeah. you hit your protein intake. Yeah. One person has all his calories from sugar. Yeah. One person from broccoli and rice. You're going to lose the same weight. Exactly. So is that the person eating broccoli and rice may be healthier. Exactly. Um, in my opinion, there's nothing called healthy and unhealthy. There's exactly there's no healthy food. There's if a healthy diet. If it fits your macros, if exactly. it's, or if it fits your calories, you're good. Yes. You're good to go. So, what are your current thoughts on the fitness industry? Amman, Jordan. Uh, from what I've seen, there are a lot of bodybuilders, mm -hmm. but uh, the way the way they think is different than what I would. How how would I say it? Um, it's old school. Very old school. It's very old school. Very old school. Um, their diet, their diet plans, their even their workout plan, uh, programs, mm -hmm. like eight sets of uh, of one exercise, one exercise, stuff like that. Yeah, like I'm in Jordan. Like I came here, and the reason why I started social media, because I was frustrated. Yeah. Like things you learn on YouTube for free. Bajuhon, like there's a trainer, and he's like. Like, and he's like just starting to the gym, and I'm like, what is your split? He's like, just, chest lahal, back by, shoulders yeah, and legs, yeah. and I'm like, why? Yeah. And no, bodybuilder should be a coach. Yeah. Like bodybuilders are not coaches. Coaches study this shit. Bodybuilders literally, lift. Literally. Bodybuilders follow a plan and they follow literally, a diet. Literally. Now, if you're a bodybuilder and you're passionate, but you to learn, and then yeah. you could be in a position where you're a coach, and you have yes. both actual experience and then you have the knowledge. Yeah. But in the modern bodybuilders, they put everyone on like the bro split and yeah. they don't understand why they put them on a bro split. They don't understand why pro bodybuilders are on a bro split. Yeah. Like in Nazlam, when you have a lot of people in the middle of the day, they have steroids. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Their recovery is different. 
their goals are different, mm -hmm. their food is very different. Food is very different. So it's very different, it's a, it's a different mindset, it's a different um, uh, spot they're trying to reach yes. in a way. Uh, especially for bodybuilders who are advanced, they're trying to do something that works best for their body. Yes. For, and for one individual's body. Exactly. So one muscle might, might work yeah. for him, why? Because he might need it. Exactly. Because he, he might have something unsymmetrical in his body that he's mm -hmm. trying to show more on the stage. Exactly. Oh, I'm following Arnold's workout. But if you know, for example, that year, yeah. Arnold was trying just to maintain his upper body and improve his biceps. Because yeah. every cool bodybuilder has a point where and he even, wants to focus on. And keep in mind, each bodybuilding era had a different look. Exactly. Different programming. Different, different look, different program. The old, the golden era, they say. Small waist, wide shoulders, wide shoulders, small legs. Yes. Now legs are very important. Of course. They make a very big change. Yes. In a bodybuilder. So don't skip leg like day. Don't ever. Don't skip, skip leg like day. Yeah. Fun fact: My first ever workout in the gym was legs. No way. Yeah, it was actually because I'm. I used to be a football player. Okay. I used to. I, that was my goal. You see, in the in the Middle East, or I don't know, in the Middle East, at yeah. least in the Middle you see a lot of big guys and they're yeah. like small legs. I'm like. <laughs> like just work your legs, it's a muscle. Real, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, in the fitness industry, there are many fitness influencers. Uh, a lot of them still like make content like body fat reduction, yeah, spot yeah, reduction. Yeah. That's so true. Toning. And the thing is, people only, because they're the only ones who are, who are here. Who are here. And who are the, here. everyone's, they think they're the only ones who are correct. Yes. You get me? Man, I know, like, people, when people come to me and they're like, um, I'm like, there's no such thing as yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the overall body fat, exactly. whether it's the first thing or last thing to go, exactly. it's based on your genetics. Ma fi yeah. I'm like, okay, I try to make it simple. It's like, exercises build muscle. Yeah. Calorie deficit loses fat. Yeah. And like people be like, "Is there some cardio for fat loss?" I'm like, "There's no cardio no, for fat cardio. loss. Cardio isn't even for fat loss. Cardio isn't even cardio, cardio is for, for calorie expenditure. Yes, exactly. And it's it, uh, cardio. What I do cardio for is for for my cardiovascular system. Yes, exactly. So um, heart health, of course, and it's very important. And uh, you should keep in mind. Steps are very important. Yes. Tracking your steps will help you out because calories in, calories out. Calories out. out. So it will help you a lot with your meals. And it, the more you learn with your, with, about your diet, the more you get to know your body, the more you get to uh, experiment more yes. your body and see what works best for you. Taraf and they actually did a study with people who did cardio. It's like, okay, حرقوا 400 calories زيادة بالكارديو. But the fatiguing effect the cardio had on them. Yeah. صفت ال activity تبعتهم بالبيت very low. Yeah. فصفت their body is good at conserving energy. فأنا I stopped putting I stopped making people do cardio. I just cardio, gave them a target cardio, cardio of steps. Is, yeah. Target of steps. Okay, give me 10,000 steps per day. Exactly. At night you're sitting down on the couch and I have steps. Okay, I walk a little bit. Yeah. So it's like you keep active, you keep moving. And that's my تعرف إن most of your metabolism is not from exercise. Exactly. Like exercise only makes up like mitain to latmiya unless you have like more muscle like it helps you build muscle mm -hmm. muscle increases your metabolism over the long term but it's not the exercise itself اللي بحرك calories it's your daily life it's your daily activity yeah so people put a lot of emphasis on everything except the diet yeah 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 it's so true and that's why it's like I feel like it's important to have you know the next generation people like you you yeah. know okay like. You have a lot of potential, but you have knowledge. Yeah. So, and like you could, like you will make it to the big scene for course, sure. Yeah. And that's why, and inshallah, like, and you're gonna make an impact. And okay, well, I did that. I really hope so. Yeah. And I don't do biceps lhal or yeah, biceps yeah. with back. No, I do push pull legs. No, I do full body, upper lower. Um, but you know, um, it's hard to find bodybuilders who actually have uh, this amount of knowledge. And that's a wrap for today. ما راح ننزل الفيديو عن البودكاست راح ننزله هون لأنه the camera kept shutting down so lucky for you you get to see that here and نرجيكم like highlights منه and we'll see you guys at home.